Well, here we are on Douglas Promenade, and I thought with the end of the summer, now into September, it might be worth just to take a, a look at how it's all going. So I'm going to take a critical eye walking along both walkways. So we're going to walk down the side and then walk back and finish here at uh, the sea terminal again. Of course, we have to start with uh, what would be the grass sections here, which has caused quite a lot of uh, interest. Of course, it's going to be eventually a tramway or potentially a tramway, depends what Tim Wald says. That's just a starter. Let's go now and have a walk. Could also the Bee Gees statue is still pulling in people, lots of uh, visitors. And uh, more of this walkway. I was going to say the weeding isn't a problem now and certainly the uh, sort of mess and the trash that's left behind at one stage has also been dealt with. It just was an amazing area in Manx Grand Prix. It became the unofficial parking zone for bikes, which actually took pressure off all the spaces for cars. So it did have some use for those busy times of the year. So we have a bus stop here, a new one with a new pole, no shelter, but uh, as we'll see later on, there's still other ones that haven't yet been upgraded. Okay, so one little bit of detour onto the walkway because looking at all these Manx flags, goodness me, they are in a pretty tatty condition. The ends of all of them have frayed. You just wonder if there's a better material to be made of or are they designed just to last a year or so, but pretty grotty ones here on the promenade walkway. Ah, the roundels. More about them later, but there's another temporary bus stop which you think by now might be getting the treatment into a full-time permanent one and plus maybe somewhere for the passengers to wait out of the elements on windy wet days. Okay let's deal with this in one go. I've been filming the whole way along and there were cones, lots and lots of cones everywhere. So let's just make a montage here and show you some of the cones we've seen on the whole trip. It saves coming back to them all the time. Now, obviously some look in good nick, and I wonder if they've just been left over from all the work done on the actual promenade, or their new ones, if they belong to different departments, but maybe the Isle of Cones could be sorted out. Now this grassway leading up to the round door and obviously potentially to be the tram tracks, this looks much nicer. Looks like it's had some real grass laid in it. I thought at one stage it was all going to be just let to go wild, but that looks like it's had some sort of seeding to create a grass verge. I've got to say the hanging baskets look nice and all that graphic there on all the new LED posts. This is the beach, there's a couple of people on it. We are at the beginning of September, but a nice day. And of course, this is where you can see quite often the tractor doing its thing where it keeps pulling down all the stuff from the top here, pushing it back into the sea, and then it comes back again, and then they keep going. Obviously, something is uh, being done, but I'm not sure long term is actually the solution because it's still pretty high, isn't it? There's not much room between the sand and the promenade, and of course, that leads to all the problems in the storms. So this is it. This is where the tramway finishes and sort of crossing point people get off and the new people can get on. Every time I've seen it it's been really busy actually and uh, it's sort of half finished in that sense they wanted to go to the very end of the promenade but this is it for now. Another temporary bus stop. Found a cone that's actually being used to prop up a sign. Talking about the rails and rusting, which was a major issue. This cannot be good, surely. Water build up in the rails. Surely that is going to be a rust issue at some point, if that's allowed to continue. So here are the horse tram signals. Now, part-time they may be, but I was coming along here the other day at 7.30 in the morning and the lights went through a complete change. So we all stopped on red. Clearly no horse trams anywhere and it's not the first time that's happened to me. So I don't know if there's still a problem there, but uh, can't be right. And hopefully they'll sort that one out. And uh, yeah, people have got a bay not going down where it says no entry. A few bikes apparently in TT or MGP anyway are doing that, but they have extra signage out and blocking it off at that point. And how confusing could it be? If you go through these lights on a green, then it goes to red, but there's traffic ahead of you, and you want to turn right down there. When I was doing it one day, 
everyone was backed up and uh, I don't know, you technically would have to hold the horse trams if there was a sort of bunging up session. It only happened when it's really busy because obviously traffic coming towards us this way um, stops the people going away from us here, turning right down that road. Might need thinking about that. And here the new LEDs, although that can't be right, can it? A lone one that's on in the daytime. Not at the minute, it shouldn't be on anyway. Actually, it's not the only one. As I walk further along, a few more are also lit up in the afternoon. So that's the uh, seaside section done. And now we'll walk back to the start putting point up at the sea terminal. There's a few of these along the promenade. Obviously at some point are gonna have something put in them, I'm guessing, and then sealed up. Phone box, rear the phone, and next to it, a phone box with no phone. So we still have temporary bus stops here. I wonder how long before we get the final finished product and presumably some sort of bus shelter. A telephone, but no receiver. Completely useless, presumably not being used for many years. You think maybe these 20 mile an hour zones would be not near the pavement and the hotels, but probably nearer the roadway, so people can actually identify with them as a condition of the speed limit for this area. Disc zone signs near the far part of the walkway and another temporary bus stop in existence. All this parking for motorbikes, and I did see two in Manx Grand Prix actually use this. But overall, I think the space could be rezoned maybe to something more useful, seeing as overall we have lost spaces on the prom over the years. So here, one of the famous roundels, and this pole, or maybe a pipe, which doesn't seem to have anything attached to it for signage. It must be something for the future, but uh, obviously still, as far as you know, there's going to be no major accidents here at the Roundels after all the doomsayers were going to say that it was going to be a terrible, terrible idea. I don't know what you think personally, but uh, so far so good. But a mystery pole. Some very terrible trips here. I mean, I know it's probably not going to catch many people, but should that really be there? Surely someone could go for a flyer on that one. You can say that the zebra crossings, the white bits, are not exactly very white these days. Uh, I don't know how long they will survive before having to be given a good old water jetting down or something once the uh, water shortage thing is over with and we can use our hose pipes again. This I'm guessing is a wild sort of garden or maybe it just waiting to be sorted out. Yeah, real new bus stops do exist here outside the Getty as an example. Here's one of the big improvements, the cultural zone, cultural area near the Gaiety. Not looking bad, a few people taking advantage of sitting down. Just needs maybe a little clean. So that's interesting, higher up the prom, and there is a demand for areas of motorcycles. So this one's working. Almost there, back to where we started, but just thought I'd look at this. And, you know, it's a great, great object, but definitely in need of a little bit of TLC and the paint job, I think. Okay, maybe this sign could do with just repointing. Well, it's been a work that's taken much longer than anyone probably really expected in the first place, the Douglas Promenade Improvement Schemes, but uh, that completes our walk anyway. And uh, as you can see, there's a few things probably yet to be sorted, and we'll come back in a few more months and see how it's looking then.